losing will not be collecting one. If you don't take that into account, it doesn't reflect the other. Because that, that's the, the reason for this, in order for the figures to reflect. need to have standards because if you do prepare the accounts different from the way I do different from the third one and the fourth one how can I compare how can I decide how can I take decisions then I need to know the rules the base the bases you've used the rules you've adapted to prepare the accounts. These are called, that's why we learn in accounting courses, pure accounting programs, generally accepted accounting principles. International accounting standards, standards that actually apply, many countries are using them and therefore it makes it easy for investors to read. They don't need to understand a lot of things. One, sta one set of standards applicable to all. Take, for example, if I were to compare the financial statements of Bahrain Islamic Bank, Bahrain Islamic Bank, with Kuwait Investment, Kuwait Finance House, rather, which is an Islamic bank in, the, in Kuwait, a Kuwaiti Islamic bank, and Bahrain Islamic Bank. If I were to compare them without knowing the standards used, because in Kuwait they use international accounting standards for Islamic banks. In Bahrain we use IOFIS standards. They are not the same. And therefore in order to understand them, I need to understand both international accounting standards as well as IOFIS standards in order to be able to see, to compare the accounts. Fine? This is simply just to give you a flavor of what we mean by generally accepted accounting principle. IRS is a now replacing international accounting standards. It stands for International Financial Reporting Standards. That's IFRS. Take the Saudi, Saudi Arabia, for example. Saudi Arabia thought years ago that having their own standards, their own standards, and they spent a lot of money and effort to develop standards. I didn't pay. Yeah. Is it a revenue or not? I didn't pay. I told them I agreed I'll pay you later. No, this is what I'm, I'm just actually giving you. Sorry? Yes. It's not revenue. How they do differ. Cash accounting recognizes the revenue when cash collected, upon the cash collection. I receive cash, government. Businesses adopt accrual accounting. In order to recognize the revenue, the revenue is recognized when the service rendered or a product sold, regardless of when cash being collected. Now, when the services is rendered, when I sold, when I deliver the products, and this is, for example, I can go to Kano and say, I want a car. I want Lexus. 
and here generally if you want a car generally for such a car you wait a few months okay and I paid down payment the down payment since the Kano uses accrual accounting basis wouldn't be considered as a revenue would be considered as a liability in their account is not a revenue until they give me the car key when they give me the car key this is a revenue whether I paid earlier or I'll be paying them later because you see you pay either before receiving the service or at the time of receiving the service or the products the same thing or after take now I mean mobile companies you can buy vouchers isn't it when you buy a service before using it this is a liability on the company this is not a revenue yet the revenue when you start using it you bought for hundred reals and they fill your accounts with hundred reals this is not a revenue this is basically a commitment on the mobile company to offer you a service for how much hundred reals